Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how you can run PHP from your USB drive. Okay. Normally, we if you have XAMPP installed in your machine, like in my system, I have XAMPP on D drive. Okay. In D drive, you can see I have XAMPP 8. I just name it 8 because it's a version 8. And then I have HD docs in HD docs. Anything I will create, like uh, any folder, anything that will run from PHP, because I have set up the sim, so its the uh, system is already running. So you can see, sim is running from my machine. Let me give you a quick example to understand it. So I'm going to create a folder and going to say let's say test and within the test i am going to open the visual studio code okay and in visual studio code uh, let's authorize it write down a file index.php okay let's write down the php starting just save it at the semicolon here we are and now i am going to run this file Okay, so let's go and write down localhost and localhost I have created a test folder and you can see the file is running. But the problem is this file is inside the HD docs. Now if I go in my system I have a USB drive and I want to set up this USB drive to run a PHP. Let's suppose within this I have a git folder. From this git folder I want to run the PHP but normally PHP runs from the HC docs folder if I want to configure this I need to update some settings the first thing that you need to do like you need to go and open this panel here you can use the config and browse Apache okay if you browse the Apache server it will appear like that okay inside the configuration conf folder you'll find a couple of folders and files okay go inside the extra and within that you will find http d vhost.com file so this is the file where we are going to make the changes so we uh, just try to open it it is open now i have already a set up over here but now i just take a copy of this okay and now my requirement is just f within the f my like this is my usb folder okay and uh, i am going to use the same for my this new directory so anything inside the f git will run like this and Let's suppose I just give it a name of git. Uh, git will be the folder git will be run when I try localhost slash git. And these options will remain the same. I have put the more detail about it uh, into the blog. So the options you need to set indexes, follow syslink, multi views, overwrite all, order, deny, allow, allow from all, granted all. It has a lot of explanation, but you can find this on my blog. If you visit my website uh, on this blog page, you will find all the details. I'm not going into detail, otherwise it will be a longer lesson. So just keep it safe. And now, once I do that, I am going to run the, again, I need to, uh, let's try to run this local host kit. It's not working because I need to restart my Apache server. I'm going to stop it. Now I'm going to start it again. Okay, I just started. Let's run this. So you can see the directory is running now. If I will create a new file from it, from this location, let's call this, uh, okay, and I'm going to call index.php. And be code so echo 
running tape disks with the semicolon and here we go and refresh the page so the page has started to run from this location i hope this lesson will help you because you sometimes you have a larger folder or something that you want to save or run test from your usb drive not interested to copy the content to your hd docs file so this is the easy step that you can do and easily run the file from your usb drive okay thanks for watching take care bye